Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. So much. Thank you. You are being heard, my brother Williams. Thank you so much. You're going to go to Guadalupe Gambo, the Nikisi Weku, my brother. The days of talking and talking and talking is over. You know, when they used to call us online country, I don't think anybody is still seeing online country anymore. When they used to call us miscreants, I don't know how many people that are still seeing miscreants. When they used to call, call us all manner of names, I don't know how many people that are still seeing that. When they used to call out Barim, uh, Barim, uh, Buddha, all those names, I don't know how many people that are still seeing it. When they used to call uh, Mazenam, the can of Foster and all that, I don't know how many people that are still seeing that because the message has gotten through them. They have known that this thing these people are talking about is real because Nigeria will blind you to truth because the construct and the made up of Nigeria we have found is lies. Nigeria is made up of lies. And when truth is trying to emanate, when truth is emanating among them, they will see everything, they see everything, they see the truth as lie and the lies as truth. Had it been our leader came up and he was lying to Nigerians because you can only lie to them. You can't lie to Biafrans. Once you lie to Biafrans, Biafrans will know and they will kick you one million miles away from them. Had it been instead lying to Nigerians, giving them hope of a, a skyscraper to every citizen of Nigeria, they would have been singing his praises today as a, a savior. That have, the way they ran the... La rally around the fake uh, rallying around the of uh, the London boy. That's what they would have done. I, I, it beats my imagination that even up to this moment, that somebody that suck his mother's breast, somebody that his mother carrying in, in her womb for nine months and give birth to, somebody that eats through his mouth and not through his anus. He's still talking about that this APC and PDP are uh, the ones that have destroyed the country. That's why they want to bring in another different um, a, a politi political party that have not led Nigeria before. That Nigeria is none of PDP and APC. And therefore, they want another party to make it now three party so that it will not be only two parties that will be in Nigeria. Just you, you, you begin to grasp. You, you, whenever you analyze what these people say, you will you will you will lose hope that's why that woman want to jump into lagoon it's when this woman i have listened to the hopelessness of these people that are you think that they are learned that speak good english that's why he wants she wants to jump into lagoon because she listening sat down and listening to bbc listening to channel television listening to all these people and everything is hopelessness to her how can you say that is because another party have not emerged the same party that is built by the same country, by the same terrorist country, by the same the same people are championing it. The same full and that come from Monitrina is championing it. Then you're saying that there had it been another party have come to crush the other party, that things will automatically be good with the same name Nigeria. I don't understand it. And I can never understand it. And this is what that traumatized that uh, Oduduwa lady that wants to jump into Lagoon. Because once you sat down and put your mind in, in at work, just bring your mind at work, you begin to analyze the way these people that say they are, uh, they, 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 they are um, um, professors, that they are uh, um, um, uh, learned people in this contraption. These quarter, quarter graduates. In this contraption, if you start down to analyze the way they talk, you will want to go and commit suicide. So I will not blame that lady because there's nobody that is insane. Once you find yourself in this circle that you are called a citizen of Nigeria, why you are not seeing all, the, all manner of the, all those things in Biafra land is because we are Biafrans. We are not Nigerians. Because our territory has been separated from this uh, kingdom of darkness, from this terrorist um, 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 kingdom. That are made up of lies. Had they been, we are still one that the uh, uh, devil that, that that God want to punish us and they joined us together that we are still one up to now. What you'll be hearing is that there's a suicide that that man hang himself the other day. 
that this one entered the Dangote trailer that is coming, that this one uh, went to Hembridge. Hembridge would have been a where police people and army people and vigilante will be guarding. If you want to go close to the um, bank of the river, they will ask you, where are you going? Where are you going? Because people will be jumping to commit suicide because of the type of news they are hearing on daily basis. Hopelessness coming from the Red Chamber. Are we going to allow the poor to breathe? Those that are in support say hi. Those that are in, uh, that are not in support say new. Are you supposed to discuss whether you want to make the life of the citizens good? Are you supposed to say it? Is your agenda in the Red Chamber not to make the life of the citizens better? Why are you asking questions? Should we allow them? Because you know you have been suffocating them from the day one that Nigeria was consulted from 1914. Till now that these people have been suffocated the very day they put them in this one room called One Nigeria. Adopting now, they are still in that suffocation. But Bia France have breaking the door because we can't go through the window. We break the door and we liberate ourselves. But once we break, we break and come out, but the door is still still sealed. And locking other people into their cocoon, into their own cocoon. And as many that will not struggle to break off from that door, we remain there. The only thing that we will see as the only way out is to commit suicide. Or allow their youth to be killed and slaughtered like they are doing in Benue State and the, in, uh, on the other part of uh, M M Nigeria. In the northern Nigeria. So my brother, that is why we are here. And we have told them today, we have come to give them idea. We are only selling an idea to them, giving them idea. If you want to stop these people, guys, you know, Hyoka. If you want to stop these people, um, our prime minister, if you want to stop him, as in the only way to stop my prime minister, because you see, he's wicked. He's a dragon. He doesn't know where your life is. He doesn't know whether you are crying. or So the only way to stop him, because he's so wicked, the only way to stop him is release Mazen Namdekano. Then you stop his wickedness and he will stop speaking. Are you getting me? He will stop speaking. <laughs> then the man that you now love because he's in detention will now take charge because he's the leader of the struggle. But once you cannot do that, wait for more fire that is coming from the dragon. Thank you so much, my brothers, and I can see our sister Malpice is here. Mas, you go, you're welcome back. And Ben, I can see you. You're welcome. Christopher. Christopher, you're welcome. I think a triple M, triple M has spoken, right? The first. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm a Christopher. Christopher, go ahead. Triple M, if you have spoken, you omit yourself. Christopher, you can go ahead. Yeah. I don't know the first. Are you still there? Yes, I can hear you. Hold on. The first, can you hear me? Can you say something? Because it's like I'm not hearing you. The first. Are you saying something now? You're not being heard. Or is anybody hearing the first? No, I can't I can, I can hear him also. Nobody the can hear you. Please go from OB go out. The, go out and come in. What of you, Gochuku? Are you hearing us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, um, uh, my brother Christopher, the first Thank will you, be Mazifai. back. Thank you, Mazifai. Our, our elder. <laughs> um. <laughs> Please, so, um, uh, <laughs> make gonna spare me that one, oh. Please, my name is Josephine okay. Yungora. I'm not any okay. elder. Please. Greetings, make, uh, uh, Mazifai. Make, when we, when make... we talk of elder, you know, because they say <laughs> what an elder sees, <laughs> you know, sitting know. down, picking up Some... his when he stand up. So uh, some cause uh, some cause some cause people don't spoil the name. Some cause people. Don't I'm don't sure you also it. understand that I'm being sarcastic, also, but you know you get I the know. point anyway. I get the mm. point, my brother. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead because so you have first, to take first, it off your hand. Go ahead. I, we must we must continue. I tell you, we must continue. Uh, first and foremost, I want you know, like I always start, I want to greet, acknowledge, and pray for our leader Mazina Abdukano. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you. Chuko Kibiyama, Okikea Biyama, be with you. I acknowledge His Excellency, the Ambassador for Peace, Mazi Samon Epa. 
we greet you. Mazi fine, Ugochuku, uh, Mazi Ugo 247, Mazi Chiweze Triple M, Emeka, Biafra Warrior Queen, Biafra Queen, our Queen, we greet you. And all the fellow comrades in the house, we greet you. Fellow Biafrans, I go talk this one for Pigeon. Make una thank God for Mazi Simon Ekwao. Thank God for the Biafran Republic government in exile. Oh. Thank God for all of us, the genuine freedom fighters. So if not, ha! <laughs> Mazi Nandukano for here when I'm telling you the fact. Una no one ma that they call El Zazaki. El Zazaki. I'm going to read the headline for you from 2021 Al Jazeera. This is the headline. It says, Nigerian courts, this was in 20, 29th of July, 2021. Nigerian court acquits Shia leader El Zazaki of all charges. Zazaki and his wife were in detention since 2015. This is eight years old, following a clash in which the normal terrorist army is said to have killed 350 people. So you get the whole tricks. Now, somebody will call himself lawyer. When Prime Minister is telling you Mazin Amkanu is sick, he's uncomfortable, we all have been shouting, he's in solitary confinement for two years, he hasn't seen his family and everything. Read something from person will call himself erudite lawyer. He talks, say, the air conditioner, AC unit. <laughs> Imagine I'm the kind of cell. It's an espionage AC with gadgets hidden inside it. This is largely responsible for the ear problem he's presently experiencing. I stopped there. So an average man in the zoo, we say, ha! Huh? So imagine I'm the kind of get the conditioner. Mm, he's enjoying, you know. Can you see the reverse psychology and the tricks they are using? So that people can forget Mazin Ah, he's enjoying and know they receive SC we see we will be saying mosquito they bite our ass. <laughs> God forgive me. We will be saying mosquito they bite us for here. Hit they kill us. That one they use air conditioner. So now so they will come, go talk, say person write letter, fake letter, so that everybody can go and relax. They want to weaken the struggle. Then at the end of the day. They want to use our leader Mazin Amkanu's case to be like the El Zazaki on. But thanks to the Prime Minister, this government, and everybody here, we we saw all this nonsense coming and we are moving with full speed. That is why Simon Mazin said that the kidnap of Mazin Amkanu will be more expensive. You know? And now, you people keep saying you want to negotiate with Mazi Samonekwa, you want to negotiate, but Mazi Namdukanu is there in Abuja, just like you've rightly pointed out. Mazi, fine. If you want to talk with anybody, go and talk with him. So to show you that all these things, these lawyers or whoever, is all nonsense, I'm sure if Mazi Namdukanu is actually sending those rubbish, they said his, you know, those, those things, they come to lie uh, against him, they would have negotiated with him and he would have been out now. But because our leader has already said he can never leave the struggle, he will never bend, he will never capitulate, they want to now say, okay, well, let us go to Mazi Samanekwa, because that, if, if we bring that one down, hmm, but um, yeah, our people have common sense, like I keep saying, and we are stronger than ever. So let us keep the fire burning, let us keep on moving, and I always say, please, let us all endeavor to show up at the convention coming up. Thank you all, and I read the mic here. So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye bye.